Sawadika, and welcome to Thailand News Update. In today's news, New Year curfew and or lockdown updates, Thailand to order over 2 million tablets of the COVID magic pill, and government officials being ordered to work from home after New Year. All that and more coming up. No hints of curfews or lockdowns yet, but the government officials are being told to work from home after the new year. And the government is asking the private sector to do the same. The deputy public health minister yesterday also declared that online classes may be brought back as part of the general efforts to contain the outbreak of the Omicron variant in Thailand. He said that, quote, even though patients infected with the new strain have no severe symptoms, efforts must be made to contain the spread of the Omicron variant, end quote. The ministry says they will have a look at the other potential curbs at the meeting on January 4th, the same day set for the review of Thailand's test-and-go and sandbox arrival programs. Meanwhile, authorities are bracing for an uptick in new cases after the New Year revelries with large gatherings expected to attract large numbers around the country, particularly the popular tourist areas who are enjoying a few extra tourists this year. As of yesterday, there have been 514 Omicron cases reported in Thailand. Of those, 147 are local transmissions, while others are from overseas, many who travel to Thailand under the test-and-go quarantine exception scheme. The entry program still allows fully vaccinated travelers from approved countries to enter Thailand after passing an on-arrival RT-PCR test. Registration for the scheme closed on December 22nd, but the government are still allowing people in on the scheme if they were approved before December 22nd or if they were able to get their application in before December 22nd and have been approved since. There's a full report of the current Omicron situation in Thailand at thetiger.com. Electric canal boats, electric buses, more electric cars on the road. Now we're going to see electric motorcycle taxis as well. E-motor bikes that run off a 3 kilowatt battery are being tested with hopes that the electric motorbikes will be used as taxis in the future. Off a single charge, each bike can go around 100 kilometers. The bikes can reach a speed up to 80 kilometers per hour and hold 150 kilograms. Each electronic motorbike costs 84,000 plus 40,000 baht for the battery. Not a particularly cheap motorbike, but could be the start of some quieter streets around Bangkok. The Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand, or EGAT, is testing 51 electronic motorbike taxis, which cost a total of 21 million baht. And it is testing at its nine locations near its headquarters in Nontaburi. Officials are studying energy consumption, the behaviors of drivers and passengers, and the impact of the rollout of the electronic vehicles will have on the economy and the environment. The test will continue for the next year in collaboration with King Mongkut Institute of Technology. Okay, Tim and Sean here. Sean from Five Star Marine. We're on the back of one of uh, your boats. We're on what, Lucas 8 today? Lucas 8 today, yeah. And uh, well, yeah, <laughs> you can see where we're perched precariously. What's the advantage of these little wooden decks at the back of the boats? Yeah, so this deck allows us to have an easy entrance in and out of the water, protects us also from the engines. But one of the key things is for kids is that they can just grab the little bar that's here and they can snorkel and play with the fish without even having to go out. So this is a great uh, beginner snorkeling platform. Okay, so we're actually going to go for a bit of a swim in just a moment because the water here is spectacular. We're at uh, Banana Beach, Coral Island. Correct, Banana Beach, Coral Island, uh, just about 10 minutes from the Shillong Pier. A very, very popular place, uh, particularly good for families and uh, yeah, a, a place that you would probably come first if you were going to go to an island off Phuket for a bit of a, a bit of a day. Yeah, it's a nice morning stop or a nice sunset stop. So if you'd like to come and enjoy a swim at Banana Beach or any of these spectacular islands around Phuket, Sean's the man to speak to at Five Star Marine. Their staff and their boats are all ready for you to pop back and enjoy Phuket's islands, which, as we keep on saying, they've never looked better. Thanks for joining us. Thailand is set to go ahead with its order of 2 million tablets of the COVID magic pill Molnupiravir despite news that France is cancelling its orders due to the disappointing test results. 
Thailand's public health ministry signed a contract with the U.S.-based pharmaceutical company Merck to procure 50,000 courses of molnupiravir anti-COVID pill. The shipment is expected next month. Merck originally claimed that molnupiravir has over 70 percent efficacy in treating COVID-19 patients during the mid-stage human trials. The efficacy in final stage trials, however, has dropped to 30 to 40 percent only. Government officials are now being ordered to work from home after New Year, while online classes may be brought back as part of efforts to contain the outbreak of the Omicron coronavirus variant. The public health ministry has encouraged the private sector to follow suit and work from home as well. Deputy Public Health Minister Satit Pitu Teesha said the ministry submitted scenarios of the Omicron outbreak to the cabinet earlier this week. And he stated that even though patients infected with the new strain have no severe symptoms, efforts must be made to contain the spread of Omicron and keep new cases to a minimum to avoid impacts on the country's reopening. Satid acknowledged that the spread of Omicron will be hard to avoid during the New Year countdown parties, which involve large gatherings, and expressed concerns about young children aged below 12 who have not yet been vaccinated, that they could be at risk of getting infected. Following the destruction caused by Super Typhoon Rai in the Philippines last week, the death toll has risen to 397 and 83 people are still missing. According to the official figure released by the Filipino Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, almost 561,500 people have been displaced and 1,147 individuals injured. Rai, locally known as Odet, made landfall on December 16 with wind gusts of up to 240 kilometers per hour rampaging through the central Philippine islands from east to west, affecting lives of almost 4.2 million people, including their homes, government infrastructure and crops. The Philippines, one of the most vulnerable countries to natural disasters, is struck by an average of 20 typhoons each year, and both the number of typhoons and their intensity has been rising over the past four decades. Reporters Without Borders is calling on the international community to toughen its sanctions on Myanmar's military after a journalist covering the plight of refugees in the southeastern state of Kayin was killed during an army artillery attack near the Thai border. The attack happened on Christmas Day. Federal News Journal editor Sai Wing Ung, also known as A. Sai K, was the second journalist to die as a result of the Burmese military's violence in less than two weeks. He was killed by a gunshot and during an artillery attack by the Tatmadaw, Myanmar's armed forces, against members of the People's Defense Force, which has been pushing back against the brutal military crackdown. And that wraps up the morning news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the latest news around Thailand and the region. Also, stay tuned for Good Morning Thailand that will be live shortly. And Thailand News Today this evening with Jet. Or just click on these mini thumbnails to go directly to the previous shows. Up to you. I'm Natty from The Tiger. Sawadee